Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fridge Cam and we are Salted Food. And we are also about to go vegan. Would you say this is probably our most requested week feed? So here's the setup for today. We're going to spend a typical day out in London being a vegan. So we've got somewhere for breakfast, mm -hmm. somewhere for lunch, uh, somewhere to get some like sweet snacks, and then somewhere for dinner. The catch is, we're not allowed to order what we want. We rely on each other to order for us. You and I are chefs. Jamie is a steak man, and Barry doesn't know what veganism is. <laughs> today we're going to make use of the whole thing to ask questions, form informed opinions, rather than just what we've heard and try out veganism. First, doing breakfast at Gallery Cafe. Let's get our vegan arm. Let's get our vegan arm. Let's, let, let's, let's, let's get our vegan arm. That's all the energy I'm going to have for the day. OK, I think I'm failing on the vegan 101. Yeah. Um, it's not scrambled tofu on the menu. Does that mean eggs aren't vegan? Eggs, yeah. eggs, eggs aren't dairy. They're in the dairy department of a supermarket, but they're not dairy. But so they are an animal product. It's not about dairy, it's about animal products. So this is the definition of veganism from the Vegan Society. Hopefully we can trust that. Veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as is possible and practical, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing or any other purpose. So that's something I don't think I've really considered before. It's not a diet, it's a way of living. I like that you thought that you were going to get eggs today and now you're not. But I suppose your leather chaps aren't allowed either. Likewise with your silk underwear. Touche. <laughs> for James, I think we'll go for that. I know exactly what Barry wants on this menu. It begins with avocado and it ends with on toast. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we can get Barry something good, something a little bit different, something that he wouldn't usually order. Ben usually wants to experiment and go for the most fancy thing on the menu, but today I'm going to go with the most bog standard. Mike is always on a health kick, so I'm going to go for something super healthy. Question is, do I like Jamie this morning? And I'm going to go and get some drinks because they can't be latte or flat white coffees. I am very excited for the drinks because I do know what those are and some of those are new to us all. What we got here? Um, okay, so we have ourselves a mixture of drinks. We've got a soy-based flat white, simple. Beetroot chai latte, beetroot chai spices, almond milk, matcha latte, so the green tea with oat milk, yeah. and this one is the turmeric latte, ah, and that has okay. also got, I believe, raw coconut nectar and soy milk. And that is a, um, a tea, a cold iced tea, which is a root that I've never even heard of and I still don't know how to Ru say. Ru 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 Rubos. Rubos. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Free for all, I reckon that you just stick a hand in, or just a finger, and you go for the one that you want. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I have the world's most horrible cold and can't really taste much. <laughs> I was worried that was going to be really bitter because of the turmeric, but that's really subtle, and what you get more is coconut. Interestingly, I don't get the flavour of beetroot, I get the flavour of the milk, almond milk, this one, but I'm having to chew the beetroot. I have to be honest, I've actually had a matcha latte before, and I quite like them. Uh, it's like really super milky, with a little bit of bitterness. Oh, I hate that That's nice, it's the only cold one, um, but actually it's quite fruity. It's not particularly sweet, and it has almost, I've never had it before, but as a tea goes, it has almost the drying feel, but almost like cranberry juice. It reminds me of cranberry juice. Yeah, that's just a flat white with soy, 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 soy. The food is arriving. Let's eat some food, because the food is arriving. So that's the potato pancakes. It's for you, Mr. Terry. <laughs> they look good. For you. <laughs> Yay. Uh, oh. The pancakes with hemp cream is there. and oh. Thank you. cherry compote. Oh, thank you. It is a feast. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Mike knows that my sweet tooth is nearly non-existent. And with all the savoury menu options, he decided to get me 
Pancakes with hemp cream and cherry compote. Really happy with this. I've got potatoes, we've got lentils, we've got mushrooms, some rocket on top. I've got the full English. So homemade baked beans, tofu scramble, mushrooms, potato, kale, tomato, sourdough. Only thing is I'm not entirely sure what the sausage is. Uh, I've got the same as Barry. I'm quite glad because I should have known actually. I thought I was going to get porridge because I'm Scottish, but actually I got the most adventurous thing on the menu because it's Ben. Today is definitely a new experience because I would never have ever ordered that, even if vegan heaven and hell froze over. So smooth. Try it, it's really nice. Oh, it's quite nice. It's almost like a little bit citrusy. Very gelatinous. Really nicely spiced beans and tofu. And having had some sausage, I still don't know. The lentils are actually very nice, uh, very tomatoey, um, slightly spiced. The pancakes, they're like hash browns or potato cakes, but I wouldn't say pancakes. This is very, it's very oaty. It's like an overnight oat, but it's cold. The coconut yogurt, you get a tiny bit of. For slow energy release and all of that jazz, it's a great job. And I've eaten worse for breakfast in the name of health. In an attempt to learn more, we were able to chat to Alex, a chef at St. Margaret's, and obviously a vegan himself, to get more of an insight into how he thinks when creating his dishes. I don't believe in like meat substitutes, like tempeh or seitan. And I think, well, I get my own protein through like more natural things like chickpeas and lentils. Okay. So there are a lot of recipes you can do like curries and whatnot that will have the protein content, but are really simple and you don't have to have that sort of like fake meat. I suppose there's a change in mindset as well though, because I would think about veganism as restricting what I can eat. Yeah. Whereas everything that we've had for breakfast is stuff that I would never usually eat. Yeah, so, so it's opened up a whole new world. Well, you would use ingredients that you wouldn't, because you, you're sort of restricting yourself when it comes to ingredients you know, you have to then discover more ingredients that you wouldn't use on our, like, we would use in England, you know. Empty plates. Apart from yours. Apart, apart from mine. It was just so OT. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've realised that I don't need eggs in my breakfast. I can survive our eggs for a morning at least. I'm ready for some lunch because I'm not sure that's changed all my views yet, but I'm looking for the moment. You're looking for the moment? I'm looking for that moment. Well, this place is cool, so let's see if that provides it. It's lunchtime on our vegan quest. Are you hungry? Stupid I am. Question. We've come to London Bridge. Um, there is some street food, some vegan street food. It's vegan AF, apparently, and it's junk food. So, happy? Happy. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.